Transmission received. Mysterion brings justice. You can't kill that which never dies. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Star Power Fun Destroyer video. And today we are going to be covering the dev update which has some important information because it is the second anniversary of South Park Furniture and uh, yeah, it looks like they're doing a special campaign. So let's start off with the actual uh, weekly timetable. So uh, Tuesday event, um, normal, but it's an update. So this will be the legendary reset, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, moving on, we have uh, the cock challenge. Uh, I don't really mess around with the challenges, so whatever. Um, and then we have the double PvP tickets, which I kind of need, which is important. Um, I'm running low, I'm like 5k right now. And then also the weekend event which they won't spoil anything because it's based on the actual episode um i think we could very well get an, episode, uh, like an actual card this week um we haven't gotten one for like two weeks now because obviously it wasn't ed uh for one of the weeks and we had a card another week um but yeah i mean we've only gotten one card from the actual uh based on the actual episode so i think we could get one this week obviously depends on what it is um it also i would have it would have been pretty cool last week because I didn't make a video on it. Um, if we would have got the mummy, that would have been pretty sick. So uh, yeah, let's move on to uh, the second anniversary. So this Saturday, so November 9th, we'll be celebrating the two year anniversary of South Park Furniture worldwide launch because it was a beta before that. And uh, every day we're gonna get um, special gifts. So you can see on screen and if you log in now, uh, you're gonna get some of these. I don't know why, um, it's 18 or 813 and then also 1,997 uh, coins and tickets. I don't know the reference towards that. Maybe that's when South Park started on the, the gold coins. I don't know. Um, uh, so yeah, basically, uh, they say even more special gifts for those who start before February 18th. So on screen, right now I'm in game, uh, you can actually see when you start for the first time. So you do have to start on um, before February of last year. So it's not the, the actual release date of when the game came out. So uh, basically just go up here, click the little phone icon, and then go to uh, swipe right to uh, messages. And if you go down to the bottom, you should be up here, uh, you can see button says, hey, you sh uh, come to my house. Um, so wait, where is it? So to see the date, that's when you pretty much died. So I did start one day after the actual game came out. Um, so yeah, that's when I started. I've been here since pretty much global launch apart from one day which is a uh, pretty cool so that's all good but you can see on saturday we're getting a special gift i, I honestly can't tell what that is it's a box of some sort um yeah honestly i, I don't know what it is i'm guessing it's gonna be some gift uh it would be pretty sick to see what it is and um what we're gonna get for the actual um like uh for the new play for the players you've been staying around since the beginning i guess we're gonna get a special gift which i can't wait for so yeah moving on we have the new season uh or new episode obviously they're not really going to talk about it because i mean it's self-explanatory and then moving on we have the sci-fi event which is um it's 24 hours so i mean it's it's all right pc principal uh paladin bars hermes kenny five or human kite marine correct the visitors program stan and i step and wendy I'll probably, I'll probably end up doing this one because I kind of want to use visitors again. They're kind of fun to use. So, uh, other than that, um, so the cog challenge, uh, all cog cars are level 3 and LV King Bradley will cost 10 as usual. Um, <laughs> it's amazing that they keep making Elven, uh, Elven King Bradley 10 cost. Um, well, I guess it's cool because I don't really play it, but I always hear people complain about it. So, yeah, that's alright. Um, okay, so next is the weekend event. We've talked about it. But uh, one thing I should, I should know is. Um, they're doing PvP tickets the whole week end. Um, I think it should have been the whole week. I mean, why not? No, we've been game out for two years. Just let us, let us farm for a whole week so we don't have to worry about it again. Um, so yeah, here's the main juicy bit, which is our the balance changes, which they have completely nerfed all doggies. You can see on screen right now by 20% um, at level one, which is, uh, I think, insane. Um... Yeah, I didn't think they're going to all get the same treatment because obviously all some doggies are better than some others. Like, um, uh, was it Dwarf Engineer Doggies, the one who stuns? He's crazy, so he's staying the same, but uh, he's just getting attack reduced, uh, which is all right. And it's more or less to do with, um, what's it? Team Wars, because Team Wars doggies literally just ruin, like, literally, if you have a high doggy, you've pretty much won the game. Um, it, unless you have mind control. So, uh, yeah, other than that, we have the two legendary superheroes getting some buffs which uh 
I guess it's fine. So Mysterion, Death Orb will now float 20% faster, allowing for quicker respawns. I mean, that's good. I mean, I'll take that one. But Kogo is now from 6 to 7. Which is better than 7. I mean, 7 is just ridiculous. Uh, I would have liked an actual increase in her stats. And maybe a 5 cost? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's alright. It's 3 cost now. So, you could spawn her with uh, Dr. Mithra, for example. But, I mean, it's just like the fact the Fireball exists. Um, other cards like that, you can just rinse them. So, we'll see if that, she's more usable now, at least, I guess. Um, so, that's pretty much it for the balance change. Not bad, at least we're getting some superhero buffs. So uh, moving on to the maintenance on Tuesday. Um, so November 5th, they're going to roll out an update which can have some big features. Uh, a new custom custom item. Um, who knows what that's going to be. Uh, okay, so let's start with the practice, practice mode one. So um, one of the biggest community requests over the last few months was a Team Wars practice mode. I'm happy to say we've worked on it and we are implementing it in, in this update. So it's going to come out on Tuesday. Um... We'll see how it goes, but basically, um, you better to choose a new option when selecting a friendly fight against a teammate and practice with your team, uh, where your team was decks. So you don't have to actually make it, which is uh, pretty good because, especially the lower level people, um, like my, well, not like myself, but um, I don't have Ninju. So every time we do team was practice, I can never use Ninju because obviously I just don't have him. Um, so I think it'll just make you a preset where you get your cards, all of them, so you can practice at, even at the low levels. Um, also, we have to wait and see how it goes, but maybe you can increase the levels because obviously um, when you do do Team Wars practice, um, for example, uh, Witch Like Token is a beast at level 4 or level 3, uh, not so much level 1. So uh, yeah, it's not really the same practice feeling because in friendly fights, uh, he's doing nothing at level 1, but in uh, actual Team Wars, this guy will literally destroy it. Um, so we have to wait and see how it um, they actually implement it but hopefully you got some features and it is actually is like a pretty much a start of what they could do adding more uh modes to the practice stuff so we have to wait and see so yeah um so yeah saturday is gonna be the big day where we get the new item or whatever the show in uh it'll probably get leaked before that but um yeah so new cost custom item uh, more customization on saturday i've mentioned above so all players will be getting a new customization item um all players will get one version and a special thank you to our biggest uh, or our longest time players uh, who've played the game before February 2018. So last year, um, so not that long. I mean, if you, yeah, if you pretty much played the game since then, you're fine. So we're gonna get two items. It looks like for at least for me, um, a thank you item, which I think everyone will get whoever plays before February 2018. And then it makes it sound like we're gonna get one version of uh, of an item that's apparently coming. Um, I mean, I can't wait to see that because I'm kind of curious on what they're going to give. Hopefully, it's something good, not something like muggy. Um, and then also, they apparently uh, revamped the, the in-game news section. So, uh, we're going to add more into the future, blah, blah. But this is the final version of what's going to include major changes. So, um, yeah. Um, that is pretty much it, apart from the bug fix, which I think most of them are fixed already. Uh, so, I guess the main one is fixed an issue that caused Pope Timmy to revive a base level. Um... Tupperware will no longer be damaged by Satan. Uh, fix an issue with Imp Tweaker and Dr. Timothy. I guess that wasn't really that important. Um, Swashbuck the Red. And uh, Mysterion responds to level 1. And then the Q I guess the Kuhn's the bigger one. Because uh, if he was mind controlled, he would lose his attack buff. So I guess that's it pretty much for today. Um, kind of big stuff covered here. Uh, not the biggest stuff. Because obviously we, we don't know what's happening on... Friday and the weekend pretty much so yeah uh, summary we're getting a new card on what well, not a new card uh, we're getting a new item on Saturday which is towards the long-term players um, we're getting free stuff every day until the weekend um, new balance changes so doggies are getting nerfed and then also the legendary superheroes are getting buffed and uh, yeah that is all um, oh I new team was practice so yeah that is pretty much all for today guys um, super super excited for this week honestly I didn't know the second anniversary was this close but um, yeah it's close it's, it's <laughs> this week um, I did start uploading I think um, maybe a month or two after South Park was actually came out so maybe I'll do a second anniversary for myself so make sure to come back on Thursday where we do the card speculation um, hopefully we get one because it would be pretty cool to, 
to coincide with the actual anniversary. And uh, yeah, that is going to be all for today's video, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy it, Oh, and also let me know when you actually start playing the game. So I showed that clip at the start of how to get to the part where you can see when you start playing. So uh, yeah, if you want to, if you want to do it, just leave your comments below on uh, when you start playing, and we can see if you're gonna get the gift or not. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be all for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.